What is going on YouTube? Travis Ziliox here back with another moto vlog. Um, today is the day I've been waiting for since winter started because um, I couldn't ride my bike anymore. Now we got the 09 YZ450 back out and it's officially riding season. Um, I'm just riding back here on the family property behind the house. We got 50 acres back here. Um, there's a couple spots where there's just a tad bit of snow and ice or whatnot. But uh, other than that, the trails are pretty clear. Um, and I'm excited because I have uh, new Dunlop MX-33s on this steed. And uh, last year I had the stock front tire on this that came on it when off the showroom floor in 2009 which was more of like a intermediate hard pack tire and then last year i had a michelin starcross 5 soft terrain tire on the back and i actually had that tire for about two years and uh it was all right but um yeah i wasn't as impressed with it as i had hoped to be but um these Dunlop MX-33s look pretty nasty, so I'm itching to um, try them out and see how they hook up. Uh, I've rode a little bit today just to kind of get warmed up and stuff like that, but uh, let's get out on the bike and do some riding.
gotta tell you guys it is a wonderful feeling to be able to get out on the bike again and finally ride um over the winter obviously i rode some snowmobiles and stuff and everything up here in northeast michigan and it's always fun to get out and do that but uh nothing feels the same as being able to ride my bike and so uh being able to finally get back on the bike and ride again and it's awesome i love it um i don't know why i love it so much but i don't know what else i'd do if i didn't have this so uh it's pretty cool um these new dunlop mx 33s i'm telling you if you guys are looking for some good tires for soft intermediate terrain they're definitely good um coming out of corners now this thing hooks up so good i get on the gas and a lot of times i have a hard time keeping the front tire down so uh definitely something to look at if you're looking to upgrade tires i'd recommend some dunlop mx 33s so uh i also wanted to talk to you guys for a minute about this whole coronavirus situation um honestly really that's the only reason why i'm at home at my dad's house and being able to be on the property um as you guys know um from my first vlog i go to central michigan university and we're off campus for the rest of the year and we're doing the rest of our classes online so it's kind of uh bittersweet because you know i like the college experience and i've made a lot of friends and uh, the atmosphere down there is pretty cool but at the same time it's nice to be able to be back up here because of one of course i can ride two i'm going to be able to go back to work sooner um and three i just miss it because i have a lot of friends and family up here and stuff so it's cool but uh this whole coronavirus thing as far as the moto community is concerned uh, it's pretty sad and uh, I feel bad because I've met a lot of great people throughout the moto community whether it was racing hair scrambles or racing motocross or um, going over to Ogama Sport and Trail Center over in Rose City or whatever the case may be I met a lot of great people and uh, right now is a hard time because for one you know we all look up to the pros and watching Supercross I mean who doesn't love that and uh that's been totally canceled um, as far as we know. And I saw the other day that the first round of the Pro Nationals at Hangtown has already been canceled. But from what I've been seeing, they're gonna try to hold the rest of the Nationals still. So hopefully this coronavirus starts to dwindle away here soon. Um, everybody keeps saying, and I keep seeing on the news that cases keep rising and stuff. So I don't really know what's gonna happen with that. But from a moto community standpoint, I feel really bad because, um, you know, not everybody is as lucky as myself to be able to have family property to be able to get out and ride on. A lot of people live in the city and don't really have much of a backyard or anything. So the only chances they get to ride is whether they load up their vehicles and drive somewhere and hit the trailhead and go out on some ORV trails or they go to the local motocross track. And right now you can't really go to a track because every track's closed down due to the coronavirus so um it's a pretty sad time for moto right now and uh i consider myself lucky to be able to have this opportunity to be able to ride in my own place and stuff and uh but i'm really hoping for all of you that can't go out and ride right now that um this kind of starts to smooth out and we can all get back out in the track and trail soon but um for sure something to look forward to personally myself i'd like to try to go to red bud this year not to race of course but just to go and watch um i went there in 2011 and i was like 11 years old and it was awesome i loved it the heat index is like 117 degrees but other than that you can't beat a red bud national there's nothing else like it but uh so and other than that i'd love to do some motocross racing too but we'll see um i don't know exactly what's going to happen this summer i got some other plans going on right now that um might get in the way of that but we'll see um i have the possibility of being able to get a house so um we'll see how that goes but other than that um you know, it's just really great to be able to get back out on the bike. You know, every winter I go through the winter blues and not being able to ride. It's like, man, this sucks, you know. Um, but it's nice to be able to get back out on the bike and uh, get some seat time down. So uh, I think that's what we're going to do now. We're going to go burn a few more laps on this 
09 YZ450 and uh, probably call it a day.
All right, guys, that about does it for this video. Um, I'm glad we were finally able to get out on the property and ride. I don't know if you guys noticed in the riding footage at all, there's a lot of like logs and trees on the sides of the trails. Um, last summer, I actually had a race up in Dirt Inc. in Lincoln. So we left that Friday afternoon and because we had a double race weekend, so we raced Saturday and Sunday. Well, that Friday night after we got up there, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we had a really bad windstorm and we had like 70 mile an hour straight line winds and we had numerous green healthy trees, big ones too, just plowed over by the wind and a bunch of dead trees too all over. And uh, so we've still been kind of working on cleaning it up. We tried cleaning up the trails a little bit last summer. Uh, my grandpa came out with a um, tractor with a bucket on it and was trying to push some stuff out of the way and this and that. But uh, I was racing a lot last year and doing a lot of trail riding on the ORV trails. So I didn't do a whole lot of riding back here last year actually. But uh, my dad and I actually have been spending the last few days trying to clean the trails up around here so we can actually come out here and ride and enjoy it and not have to worry about running into a tree or nothing. So uh, we've been working on that. We're gonna try to kind of clean the edges of it up more. So I'm sure as you saw, there's some roots sticking up and some stumps and stuff really close to the trail. So it could be kind of sketchy. And uh, there's definitely still some uh, frozen dirt out here a little bit too. I don't know if you guys caught it right towards the end of that last little bit of riding footage I almost washed the front end right out because the ground was still froze because there was some ice and snow there earlier and then it kind of went away because we had a 55 degree sunny day today up here in northeast Michigan but there's still bits and pieces of snow and ice around where there's not much sunlight so uh that's to be expected so uh that's why I was trying to be a little bit careful but I tell you what like I said it feels great to get back on the bike so uh now you guys have seen a little bit of riding footage and so now pretty soon you're going to see a lot more start coming up on the page. Um, I'll have uh, my third installment of the uh, preseason um, bike parts video series. Um, that's going to be going up here shortly. Um, get my parts in and everything else and then uh, record that for you guys, get it up. And then we'll really be pushing to start riding after that. Because I'm not going to put too much time on this bike at the moment. Because uh, I got to do an oil change and stuff. But I'm not going to do it until after I get my clutch. Because I feel like there's really no point in doing it before I get the clutch. I might as well just wait. So, um, but yeah, that about does it for this video. Um, if you guys like this video, go ahead and like. Um, if you have any comments about anything, please comment. And please subscribe. Um... So uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you next time.